hi everyone as you can see in this video we have a picture of the structure of the neuron and guess what that is what we'll be discussing today we're going to discuss um what is the neuron or uh, its major functions and we're also going to see the key parts of the new neuron and all their functions so let's begin we're going to start with the cellular body which is also known as the soma this is like the neuron's headquarters it contains the nucleus which holds genetic information and other essential cell components i hope that's clear dendrites i hope you can see it in the diagram these are branch-like structures extending from the cell body dendrites receive signals or messages from other neurons or sensory receptors and transmit them towards the cell body Exon. A long slender projection extending from the cell body. I hope you can see that. The axon carries signals away from the cell body, transmitting them to other neurons, muscles, or glands. Next is axon terminals or synaptic terminals. These are the endpoints of the axon where neurotransmitters are released to communicate with neighboring neurons or target cell so that is their function next is myelin sheath a fatty substance covering the axon that serves as insulation speeding up the transmission of nerve impulses that is straightforward next we have nodes of Renvia. these are gaps in the myelin sheath along the axon where nerve impulses are regenerated to propagate rapidly so that is their function there are gaps in the myelin sheath Next, we're going to functions of neurons and they include the first one, reception of signals. Dendrites receive incoming signals, also known as neurotransmitters, from other neurons or sensory receptors, so their reception of signals. The second function is integration. Neurons integrate incoming signals, processing and combining them to determine whether to generate an action potential. That is nerve impulse so integration is the second one the third is transmission if the integration of signals reaches a threshold an action potential is generated and travels along the axon to the axon terminal so there is also transmission as a function the fourth one release of neurotransmitters when the action potential reaches the axon terminals neurotransmitters are released into the Synapse to transmit signals to neighboring neurons or target cells. So the third function of neurons is release of neurotransmitters. The fifth one, propagation. The action potential travels down the axon, facilitated by the myelin sheath and the nodes of Renvia, allowing for rapid and efficient transmission of signals. So we have propagation. The last one is communication as a function of neurons. Neurons communicate with each other through synapse, forming complex networks that underlie all brain functions, including sensory perception, motor control, cognition, and emotion. So we've come to the end of the structure of the neuron. Parts are the function of each and every part, and finalizing with functions of neurons. So I hope you've understood, you've learned something, and see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Teacher Gia's channel. Bye and take care.